Greetings, I'm Bobby W6IWN. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Radio Oddity GS-10B budget tri-band radio. Uh, this is a budget tri-band radio coming in at about $47 the time of the video. Uh, it does feel pretty durable in its boasting of 10 watts, so we're definitely going to have to put it on the bench right away and give that a test. Uh, it does offer Bluetooth programming through their CPS, and I'll give you my thoughts on that. Uh, I will show you everything that's in the box. We'll take a closer look at it on the bench. We'll test out and see what it sounds like, uh, the receive on it. It does have the AM airband, the USB-C, and all of those fancy bells and whistles. So let's jump right to the bench and see what this thing has to offer. Okay, let's get right to it and do some power testing on it. They're listing this thing as 10 watts. I don't know, I'm a little leery. Let's find out. Let's start with two meters. So I have my radio connected to the SWR power meter here and then to a dummy load. So I'm gonna zoom in and uh, let's do some tests on this. So let's confirm here, we are on high power. I'm gonna be transmitting on 146.52. Pay attention to the top right corner up here for the power. Okay, I showed, I thought I saw a six, nine spike and then it dropped to five, six. It's kind of bouncing around a little there. <laughs> so I saw six, eight for a, a point, maybe six, nine. Uh, it was varying though, that seems kind of odd. I'm seeing it jump from five to six. I haven't really seen that on a radio before. Okay, yeah, it's six, it's 0.75. Okay, it's, yeah, then it jumped down a watt. Not sure what's going on there. This is a tri-bander. Maybe that has something to do with that. I haven't seen that one before, but no, getting about seven watts, not the 10. So let's go to 70 centimeters now. Four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. Confirming we are still on high power. Testing at 70 centimeters. Showing about 5.3, 5.2 on high power, 70 centimeters. So this is a tri-bander. So let's try 1.25 meters, 220 megahertz. High power, confirming, still on high power. Showing, I saw like 311 there for a minute. So uh, that, that kind of is expected on a tri-band radio that uh, maybe 220 be a little lower in power, but I'm not seeing 10 watts. So I was seeing about seven on two meters on high power. So I'm gonna call this a five watt plus radio. Definitely not gonna call it a 10, but it is a budget tri-bander. So keep that in mind. So let's take a closer peek at the UI on this in some of the menus. I do like the screen. Uh, the color scheme does seem pretty good. To be honest, I haven't got to test this thing outside yet in the sunlight. And as you can see, it does have air band received very good. I was trying to get that earlier. I'm glad that finally came in. So it does pick up your AM air band as well. So it's a tri band. It does a 1.25 meters, 70 centimeters, two meters transmit. Uh, we'll talk about the frequency range a little bit closer when we get to the computer here. But this does have Bluetooth. You can do Bluetooth programming. I'll talk about that a little bit more in detail when I uh, show you the manual here in just a moment. Uh, you've got your dual watch here. One thing that I do like some of the other radios are doing, they're having sub menus. This is all of the menus uh, in one. I am seeing firmware version, so I'm assuming that could be updated. There is your Bluetooth for programming, but your standard uh, menus, uh, scramble, not sure about that one. I don't know if that is illegal or legal in the United States. Anyways, there's your menu system, uh, pretty basic. It's all lumped together. I did notice if you do want to like program a channel, they do have it where if you hold a key down here, a lot of these are suited to programming uh, a channel quickly without having to go through the menu. So I guess I suppose that is pretty nice if you do want to program it. 
Uh, it does have FM receive. You need to program it to one of the side buttons. I don't have it programmed in there, but it does have this uh, UHF seek search scan uh, feature. And then there's this scan button on the top here. That's kind of different than a lot of radios. So you can just scan from right there uh, versus just holding the up button to start scan, but that's a little different. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the menus and stuff. Pretty, pretty basic, but I do like how the screen looks, uh, at least in this lighting inside. I'll give you uh, some demonstrations on some 220 repeaters, how this sounds too for a moment, but I'm gonna do some transmission tests on this TIT radio since it's a tri-bander, and I'll do some simplex, and we'll see how this sounds on 220, 70 centimeters and two meters. Keep in mind, I am using this TID radio for transmitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other room and give it a test. Whiskey 6 India, Whiskey November, testing, W6IWN, testing, 220. W6IWN, clear. W6IWN, testing, receive on radio, oddity, tri -banner. Whiskey 6 India, Whiskey November, testing complete. Whiskey 6 India, Whiskey November, testing 70 centimeters, radio oddity, tri band received. W6 IWN testing, 1, 2, 3, test complete. W6 IWN clear. I'm doing well, I hope you are too. I'm uh, just, just curious, I had the uh, spectrum analyzer up on my screen because uh, Bob was talking to somebody about it. I'm doing fine at 1, 6, 500, and we intend to stay VFR until. Uh, What's in the box for those of you that care? It's your pretty standard box and it has a radio and a battery. There is something different though they're starting to do with these boxes. And this battery is a 2500 milliamp hour according to the sticker on it. So you get your antenna. So this being a tri-band radio, this antenna is good for two meters and 70 centimeters. It would be nice if, since it is a tri-band radio, it came with a tri-band antenna, but I can, uh, I can show you and recommend a Nagoya antenna that I use with these tri-band radios here in just a little bit. That's not included in the box. Ooh, secret service earpiece. That's included in a lot of boxes. Uh, it does have this belt clip, and I like these newer styles where you just clip it in. You don't have to fiddle with the screw, so that is nice. USB-C, it is USB-C charging, and it comes with the dock. This is the new part I'm starting to see in some of these manuals. So if you scan here, there is Bluetooth programming. I was going to show you guys a whole demo on that, but just to be straightforward with you, I went and I scanned this. And then you have to sign up and jump through a bunch of hoops to sign up. And then there's a lot of weird social media stuff with the app. I'm really just looking to program it. It wasn't very intuitive and some of it was in Chinese. I did figure it out eventually. And yes, you can definitely program the channels with your phone, with the app, uh, with here. That's why I'm assuming that'll include a programming cable because the CPS uh, for these is available on your phone. So very cool. I hope they maybe do some work on that app and don't make you have to log in and jump through a bunch of hoops and maybe lose some of the Chinese and uh, some of the social media stuff. Make it a little bit more basic. But I did notice for those of you that are into social media, there are actually groups for every radio type. And I did see some activity in there. There's guys talking about problems they have with radio. So maybe that part uh, could be nifty. I'm just not really into it. That's what's in the box. All right, let's talk about antennas. If you are gonna try band with this, this is the antenna that is provided, at least with the model I got, and it has just two meters and 70 centimeters. Don't go and try to transmit on 220 with that. Uh, you'll most likely damage your radio and it will not be efficient. So what I use is one of these Nagoya NA 320A antennas. I'll post links for anyone that's interested. This is a tri-band antenna. This is good for 70 centimeters, 2 meters, and 1.25 meters uh, is all built into this one antenna. So that's what I personally use with my tri-band HTs is just one of these. It's just an affordable solution. So 
keep in mind, don't be transmitting on 220 with the provided antenna. I wish these radio sellers, if they're listening, because they're all guilty of it, if they would please start including tri-band antennas with tri-band radios. So if you're not into scanning the QR code on the back and doing all that stuff and you just want a paper manual, it does include this. I was kind of scanning through the manual and then I got to this part and it's talking about how to use the flashlight function. And then I look on the radio and I can't seem to find this flashlight they're speaking of in the manual. So that kind of made me give up on the manual because I don't even know if that's for this radio. Yeah, emergency flashlight and strobe light. So I don't know. I don't see a flashlight on this radio. And that's not a problem. I really don't need a flashlight on my radio. So yeah, it's got your uh, basic functions. You might need some readers, but it does come with a manual. I'm just a little confused with the flashlight part. I'm hoping it's actually for this radio. It says it is, but I'm just not finding a flashlight. If you are interested in the Radio Oddity GS-10B, I will post links below. I can get you $15 off purchases over $65 at Radio Oddity. Uh, discounted or sale items do not qualify. They do have this for $47.99 on sale, and they're showing it with an airband antenna and a 1.25 meter antenna. So I guess that solves our antenna problems. I do wish they would have included that. Uh, in the box. So let's take a look at what they're saying. They're boasting 10 watts here. Uh, the wireless programming, we talked about that. There is the app and that does work for other radios that are Bluetooth uh, from the Radio Oddity flavor. Um, they're saying upgraded battery here, 2500 milliamp rechargeable 1860 50 cell that's kind of confusing i don't know maybe there's two of those 1860 50s in this pack i'm not sure okay one frequency copy so you can do the bluetooth copy and clone the radio so you can obviously customize the side keys i wish i would have kind of touched on this more i didn't get a whole lot of chance to test it but it does have this tx noise reduction feature I'm not how, sure how well that works or not, but that is cool. They're finally starting to add something like that because these can be noisy. So they're claiming that the this thing will transmit obviously two meter, 70 centimeter and 1.25, and then it will receive your FM broadcast, your air, AM airband. And then it says it has received from 1800 or 18 megahertz to 500 megahertz. Interesting. Uh, for NOAA is listed. Not sure what they mean. I think the NOAA weather they're talking about. Um, it does have the USB-C 256 channels. Yes, they have a CPS for this. You can download it all here and there is more links to the CPS for your phone if you're interested. So you saw everything in the box. That's what Radio Oddity has to offer. Once again, I will post links below and thank you for watching and have a great day.